Oh, the saw spoof. What a ridiculous skit. Obviously, a parody from the sp uh, Saw movies. Uh, the only real issue I have with the Saw spoof is that this first scene here is extremely dark and goes on for way too long. About 30, 3 minutes and 50 seconds and of just him yelling and screaming. It's a bit too ridiculous. Some people complained that it was like so dark they couldn't see a single thing. But I say they just have crap monitors. Because I can see it better, relatively clearly on mine. But <clears throat> whatever's, whatever's. Old stuff, whatever's. That's my voice there as Jigsaw, or as we call them in the skit, Seesaw. On the floor there, briefly, back at the start and briefly right there, you can see Mitch, if you look really carefully. Again, it's really dark, so a lot of people didn't see him there. But Mitch is there as Dead Man 1. And now, Matt tries to escape. Oh, that shot there with the hole? That's a sweet one. I like that. Anyways. Mac trying to escape from his chain, which is actually my neck chain that I wear now. <clears throat> Smashing it with random shoes. I remember as he was trying to get loose, it actually came off this nail that we had it on. There wasn't really too many bloopers for this one, but I guess that was one. Kind of funny at the time. Slightly chilled water. <clears throat> Instead of a tape recorder as used in the actual Saw movies, Seesaw and this uses uh, <laughs> different MP3 players and such. Just not long enough there, Matt. He's actually hitting right beside the nail. Ask do not break my chain. Oh, the brick that gets it off. <clears throat> and now he's free, and now he has to get that that key from that slightly chilled water. Water. <laughs> uh, Matt. Ooh. Slightly chilled. I remember Matt <laughs> yelled so much in this one. And he had some good adrenaline going. I remember he said. Good shoes. This is a, we filmed this at uh, Andrew Rayberg's house. Well, his father's house, I guess. It's probably one of the sweetest locations we've ever used, aside from the darkness. But nowadays we'd light that shiz up. And who knows? Maybe we'll we'll remake this someday, or make some other kind of shiz like this. Cause I, I like the look of it. It's really dark and just different than anything we we've ever done, really. I think if we actually try to make a scary skit, though, it would just come off silly and people would laugh at it. Oh, maybe not. Who knows? Maybe we're good enough nowadays to make something actually scary. Who knows? Who knows? But I think we just better stick to our comedy. Co comedy. She is. I'd like to do something like this again. Have the scary but corny sillies. Oh, that's me. That's me right there. This man's name is Justin. That door back there also opened without the key. Just a stupid little thing. After going through all that hard work of breaking off the chain and getting through that slightly chilled water, then it just opens for no reason. I I always laugh at that throwaway of the she is finger trap. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out. Oh, I'm dead. Killed by a mattress. <laughs> I think the soundtrack for this is all the actual soundtrack for the movies to which we don't own and should not use, but we do anyways. So, take that world of film. Those lights are also flashing from, uh, I think it's Andrew Faberg and 
myself flicking the light switches on and off. <laughs> Use it twice, and that's cheating. This part here is where I, like, I think this is where I actually realized how good of an actor Matt's become. It's just, I don't know, really intense and sweet and improvised. <laughs> this part right here, the crying, I don't know, that's just, it's really, he did really good, I think. Very good. Good job, man. Good job. And here comes the classic Saw theme that I am, or was, obsessed with. <laughs> it's just so epic. Also, FII was for some reason used as the trailer music for the movie Valkyrie? Weird. And there's Rayburg. I think this is his first appearance in a Degai skit ever. He hasn't had many, which kind of sucks. He was in this, the original The World Beyond film that's not yet released. And uh, what else was he in? Captain Fun. They play some CSI. For some reason. There's Mitch again as Dead Man 1 that you never really get to see at the start and don't even get to see his face there. He's still completely black except for his hands. Hello, Dead Man 1. Wanna play a game? You can be Jim Brass. I, 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 uh, I don't actually know anything about CSI. I don't know any of these characters or anything. But Rayburg did. And so, we went with it. Oh, that's me as Justin. Which, again, FYI, was actually the name of my brother. Hello, Justin. Who is... Play a game. <clears throat> you can be Ward Brown. Yeah, I won't get into that. Anyways. I remember uh, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing and the camera DJ, he was just like, Okay, go! And I had no idea what I was doing. I just picked up a card and... Didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I don't think any of us really knew what we were doing. And that's the end of that she is. Anyways, I think if we, uh, we could, I think we should do that again. We should remaster that or film it again and do, like, better. Because now with our newfound skills and stuff, we can shorten that first scene up, light it a lot better, and just do a lot more with it and make it sweet. These credits are ridiculous as well. <laughs> Editor, helper. Good names for stuff. Good names. Oh yes, and there's for some reason in the actual version we released, for some reason the music cut out here and then picks up after a long black screen, but there's nothing, act like no more text or video or anything, so it's just audio. So I'm just going to stop it here. That's Saw Spoof. Good stuff. May return someday, maybe. May not. Who knows? We'll see. Okay. Goodbye. Love you. Fags. <laughs> Later.